Val with the On Your Side forecast. Ah, yes, the snow is flying today. This is Tamarack Resort, as you can see right here, the Tamarack Express at the base of the mountain. They had about six inches of snow today, but at the top of the mountain, or mid-mountain, I should say, 18 inches of snow for Tamarack Resort. It started yesterday. We showed you that about nine inches up to 18 inches across the resort. You see here at the base, which is uh, closer to 4,900 feet, a little bit less snow than that. But boy, when you go from mid mountain up, plenty of snow flying in those regions. In fact, let's take a look at the McCall area and we'll show you what the uh, uh, the marina cam shows. Didn't have about an inch of snow this morning at 845. Look at it coming down right at 33 degrees. I thought we'd have accumulating snow more of 5,500 to 6,000, but it came down this morning. Morning, although it's kind of that rain snow mixture. We're at 34 degrees right now, so it's a wet snow in the ground. But as this cold front comes through tonight, we'll turn this over to some more snow and we could have some very icy roads in the higher elevations. So I keep that in mind. Look at the top of Brennage Resort. Look at that little wind drift right there. The snow blowing and there's finally filling on in and a lot of snow falling. I was going to show you the snow stake, but literally I was watching them clean the snow away at five o'clock and I'm like, no, don't do that. But it was right here, folks, almost a foot. It was about 11 and a half inches of snow at uh, Brundage Resort. It's 32 degrees at the base, and so the snow, you could be seeing some more tonight. But a lot of it's going to start to slide to the south, so much of it could be over with uh, for Brundage Mountain northward. This is Sun Valley, about an inch and a half more snow to come as it's pushing further to the east. So Sun Valley getting the snow bogus basin. Just started to see the snow fall, and you can see it falling in the background here. We're getting a coating because the freezing levels were so high in southern Idaho. But with that moisture moving in, bogus basin will have snow tonight. Yeah, the McCall extended forecast, mostly sunny during the day tomorrow, 33 degrees. 19 in the morning. Some more snow will come in on Sunday. Not a lot, just a light snow, maybe an inch and a half, but it will be much colder at 32. It will be sticking around and maybe sticking on the roadways. Tuesday, cold, 8 degrees in the morning, sunny in the afternoon. Another storm system comes in with a rain-snow mixture on Thursday and Friday. That one will have a higher snow level. So right now, over Boise, you can see skies are gray. The rain is falling. It is wet and cold outside. Our temperature, 43 degrees. The wind chill factor, remember that? When you combine the wind with the temperature, it feels like it's 37. So keep that in mind as you're heading out to Friday night football tonight, because this is what you go with to see. It's not green, but it shows up green on the radar. Lots of green around. Heaviest rain has been to the west, and it continues to slide in from southwest to northeast. It looks like this breaks to the south, but that's just the wind blowing over the Uwahi Mountains, trying to dry the air out, but it's not going to dry it out much. Magic Valley, you haven't seen much at all. It won't come in until later tonight. Gooding had some showers earlier and a few sprinkles around. That's really about it. Winter weather advice. We still in effect for Idaho County, then very poor roads and driving up north are having all kinds of problems with accidents in the panhandle. Winter weather advisory until Saturday. This is through six o'clock on Saturday evening. Winter storm warnings towards Yellowstone. And there you see all that moisture coming in from the south and west around our low pressure system. We clear out here for tomorrow. That's this store, this area. But this is Sunday. Another system comes in and will bring some rain showers later in the day. And it shows up here on our future cast. A soaking rain tonight. We clear out after midnight. Midnight in the morning will be drying out from west to east with some sunshine coming in, so it really doesn't look all that bad tomorrow, just cold and partly cloudy. Quick check, my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. Brisk and cold rain tonight, but increasing sunshine tomorrow after the morning cloud cover. It will definitely be on the cold side. Snow of the mountains tonight will taper off during the day tomorrow. My extended forecast showing the colder conditions tomorrow at 46 on Sunday. Looks like a good chance of some showers in the afternoon. Could start mixed rain and snow in some parts of the valley. It's a chilly Sunday. forecast. It's a very chilly forecast, but most of the precipitation falls tonight while Don is watching football. Uh, yeah, in person or?